video and it's Camille and I feel like my voice is kind of scratchy. Um, but today I'm going to be filming my first empties video and I'm really excited because I've never filmed this type of video before. Um, if you're wondering, I'm wearing like absolutely no makeup on my face right now because I'm about to film after this, uh, what's it called, my everyday makeup routine for October. I did my everyday makeup routine last October so I decided I would keep up. Like, I didn't did I do a September one last year? I don't remember. I probably did, but I didn't get a chance to do one this September just because I've been really busy. So I'll do one for October. Um, so yeah, this is my empties video. I have quite a bit of products just because I kind of went through my makeup collection and just tossed the stuff that's like out, which is the point of the video. Um, yeah, I had some other products that were like almost out, but I decided I would just save those ones for the next one because I decided I had enough products in this one. So yeah, and also if you're wondering, on my nails, it was Etsy, the girls are out, I just bought it. It was actually on sale at London Drugs for like $4.99, which is crazy for Etsy nail polishes. And I really like it. So yeah. So I have this all in my London Drugs bag that I got yesterday, actually. Funny thing. Okay. The first one is really boring, and it's a shaving cream. Um, this is just the Gillette, really simple, dry skin one. It has no flavor or scent. This is the shaving cream we always get. I mean, sometimes we get, like, flavored ones. Um, but this is just, like, plain. And, I mean, it does the job. It's cheap. I probably will reach purchase this because, I mean, at least in Canada, we don't have that much variety for shaving creams, like, when you go to the store. This is, like, probably one of the few only ones. So, yeah, I, I would repurchase this. I actually have one right now in my shower, and it's Gillette. And... Um, Olay. So it's supposed to be more moisturizing, but really it just does the same thing. So yeah. I have like a million mascaras to show you guys. By million, I mean like a million. Um, I'll start with the Maybelline ones. Um, I have three. I have Colossal Cat Eyes. These were just all my collection. They're completely dried out. Um, Maybelline Mega Plush. And one by one. Would I repurchase any of these? Probably not. I don't like Maybelline mascaras. If I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be Mega Plush. Uh, but I didn't really particularly like it. I think there's much better um, mascaras from other brands. I mean, they're really cute colors and stuff, but I wouldn't repurchase Maybelline mascaras. Just because I always have a bad experience with them. So, yeah. Next, I have two um, L'Oreal I have. Voluminous Millions of Lashes, and I have L'Oreal Carbon Black. The L'Oreal Carbon Black is now called Telescopic Explosion or something. Anyways, that's one of my Holy Grail mascaras, so I already repurchased this again, and I'm obsessed with it. This was decent. I mean, it's not the worst mascara, but I probably would not repurchase it just because for volume, I prefer other mascaras. This one's really good for length, but this one is just... It's been a while, though. I might repurchase it just to try it, but these are not the cheapest mascaras either, so I have to really like them for me to repurchase them. And next is the Benefit They're Real. Uh, I've repurchased this mascara numerous times in the past. It uh, makes your lashes look like they're, like, fake. It's really good, but it is expensive. In Canada, this is, like, $30. So I do repurchase it every few months um, to treat myself, but it's not, like, an everyday mascara for me just because of the price. Okay, okay. I actually have another mascara, and this is by Maybelline, so I guess I should have went with the first one. And this is actually the best Maybelline mascara I've tried. Um, this one I might have, I might repurchase. It has a brush like that. And this one I might reconsider buying, just because it's probably the best one out of the four, but it wasn't, like, amazing either. I haven't repurchased it since. Okay, I have some face products. I'm a foundation. This is the CoverGirl Outlast. This is the... This is the second bottle I've gone through of this. I'm on my third. I just bought a third. This is my summer shade. It's a 932. And I've obviously repurchased it. So this is my Holy Grail foundation. Uh, I can do a separate review if you guys want. But yeah, definitely. And then I have two concealers. I have this, which is like broken, but it's the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I haven't repurchased it since this one, but I want to. It's just kind of expensive. Um, but I will repurchase it soon. I'm just trying to go through my concealers. And then this is the Sonia Kashuk palette. I actually have the powder locked, but I only like the powder. I used up all the three concealers. I love this concealer. I would repurchase this again. I can't buy this in Canada, so I have to wait till I go to the States. 
uh, which I am going this weekend, so maybe I will pick up another one of these, but this is really great. It's by Sonia Cash. Okay, it's a little quad. Okay, next is a shower gel. Um, this is by The Body Shop, and it's the Japanese Cherry Blossom Bath and Shower Gel. Um, I did not like the scent of this. I got this as a gift. I didn't choose the scent. I don't like Japanese Cherry Blossom from, like, any place. It just smells ugh, really bad. I didn't use that, though, um, because I don't like to waste things. The shower gel's fine. Like, I would repurchase Body Shop shower gels. They're kind of expensive, though. I feel like you can get a body wash from the drugstore, and it's as good. Um, but just the scent was really disgusting, so, in my opinion, I do not like that scent. Okie dokie. This is kind of strange, but I have two nail polishes. These are both by China Glaze, and they're both grossly dry and, like, old and, like, empty. Um, this one doesn't look as bad, actually. Hmm, <laughs> am I going to reconsider this? No, it's... It's bad. Uh, this is China Glaze Frostbite and then China Glaze Refreshment. These need to go. So, yeah. Sometimes nail polishes just have to go. And would I repurchase these colors? Probably not. I feel like I hate the China Glaze formula so much. And I feel like you can get these colors. They're not that original and like different brands. So, yeah. I probably would not repurchase that. We're getting to the bottom, guys. Two more products. This actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. I guess I did have a um, I didn't have that much products of this. I mean, I kind of, I've just been talking about them fast. Like, I have, like, guys, I just talked to you about, like, eight mascaras, so. This is, this is, like, a fast empties. This is, um, a sample of the Makeup Forever HD Primer. I used this up a long time ago. I don't really remember if I liked it. I don't remember being in love with it, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it. For those reasons, um, but it was okay. I don't think it was that bad, so. Yeah. And this is like my second sample of it too, but I'm like dropping it everywhere. But I've never actually purchased the full size of the Makeup Forever HD primer. And then I have the Sephora brand daily brush cleanser. I bought this a long time ago. This is kind of overpriced. It was like twelve dollars. It's okay. I prefer to wash my brushes like with olive oil and dish soap because it's cheaper and it. It's deep cleaning. This isn't deep cleaning. This is spot cleaning. I mean, it's going to be on the go. You just need to, like, take off the makeup off, like, a brush quickly to use it for a different color. But that's not amazing. I might repurchase it just for, like, emergency purposes, but I would not recommend using this on the daily because it will get, oops, it will get really, really expensive. Because I use this, like, never. So that's why it lasted me that long. But I think if I used it, obviously, daily, this would go through. I go through this in, like, two weeks. This is, like, 12 bucks, so... Yeah. So that was my empties video. My empties, my first empties video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you like this type of video in the comments. Um, I'm planning on filming more of them. So I like filming them. So yeah. And I'm about to film it every day. Make a routine. So keep an eye out. An eye out for that. So yeah. Talk to y'all later. Bye.